everybody. Brian Tripp, Birmingham, Alabama. We're actually in Trussville. I am headed to the home of Mr. Matthew Gregory. Matthew has uh, become a good friend of mine in this business. He is just, I'm gonna let him explain it. But oh my gosh, he is doing just an unbelievable amount of, of business here in Birmingham. And I'm, like I said, I'm gonna let him tell you everything he's got going on um, as far as fix and flips go. This guy is the man. He is the man. He's, I follow him on Facebook and he's, it's like every day he's got one uh, going under contract or he just bought one or um, it's unbelievable. But we're gonna go up to his house, we'll spend a few minutes with him. We're gonna talk to him on camera and, and then we're actually gonna go take a little tour. Um, he's gonna he's gonna ride, drive us around and we're gonna look at a couple of his houses, maybe, maybe a couple that are under contract or that are already ready. Maybe a couple that are in progress, um, and and we're just I'm just going to show you kind of how how one of the most successful rehabbers in this city how what he's got going on, and, and we're just going to check that out. So. What's, What's up, up man? man? How you doing? Good. You ready to do this? Yeah. Awesome, man. I'm excited. MTV Grimm's going. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. This is the Gregory household. That's right. This is the this is the dream home. That's right. Yes. This is the, the first dream, dream home. home. Well, yeah, one of one of ones. many. Yeah. This is your office? This is an office. Cool. That's Working cool. from home, man. You can't beat Working that. It's cluttered a little bit. There it is right there. Look at some houses, go check on some projects, go um, uh, meet some agents, and stuff like that. Okay. We're gonna look at something. Can we look at something you got under contract right now? Yeah, to buy or sell. To, well, both. Yeah, sure. Um, it's on. It's on. <laughs> so take me from the very beginning. How long you been in this business? So it's um, uh, ninety eight. It's first house I bought in Huffman to to Zellmark Lane. I was living in it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, rehabbed it, um, and had some equity in it. I took the equity out of the house and bought another one. What was your intention? Was your intention um, to flip it, or was your intention to no, rent it? No, it was. I, I was living there, and the um, the equity that. Uh, after rehabbing it really fired me up. So I uh, um, bought another house over in Irondale, Danton Lane, and um, flipped it, and it probably took about three months. And then um, bought a few more in Irondale, and then moved into Huffman again on another house, and then um, and then I just, I was in love. Kind of the rest is history. Yes, I fell in love with it. I was, I was broke, young, and scared. When, when's the last time you had a, what I call like, quote unquote, a normal job, like a nine to five? I haven't, I mean. Never. Yeah, yeah. That's how it all started. Cool, man. And I haven't looked back. I'm so blessed, really, to uh, yeah. have this life in real estate. I love what I do. Um, it can be a little high-paced, you know, a little stressful sometimes, but um, not really stressing out about money, but just stressing out about all the projects, you know. I 
I have about 20 houses in the inventory all the time that I'm flipping. So, so that are from from under contract to buy, in progress, rehab, That's under right. contract to sell. That's right. Th throughout the yeah. whole process, you got 20. And uh, it's been high pace for the past 10 to 12 years. You know. How many can you actually work on at a time? Like, how I've many do you feel about comfortable? Seven. I, I can I can do. Um, what I, I prefer to do is five to six max. Like, actually have crews at sure, sure, sure. But I mean, I've done probably eight, eight or nine rehabs at a time. So if you get one, so you got a few under contract to buy right now. Okay. If you get one, and it and it closes, and you you've got it now, okay. but you can't get to it yet. How long how long would you let something sit? Obviously. Okay. Well, I always have houses that that I've owned and I haven't started. <laughs> So many houses that the homeowner was stuck on a price, and I just hit them low anyway, and I get them all the time. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you do too. It's, well, I mean, it's it's, it's being persistent, following up, yeah. and, and and you handle people well too. I've noticed. I appreciate that. I think you gotta. That, I'm sorry, you have to treat people. Uh, you know, no nice. It's the golden rule kind of thing, right? No question about it. Yeah. So we're we're heading out to Roebuck. So that's that's actually um, what I wanted to ask you about. So you you're gonna really buy? I don't say anywhere, but yeah. You know, when like I, when at I think the of, moment, I've got four or five in the Huffman Roebuck area. I've got a few in uh, Clay Pinson area, in um, Mount Brook, Homewood, all those area, areas. Vestavia, Hoover. I've got um, Crestwood Avenue areas are good. But I guess the point I was trying to make is you, you'll you go to Roebuck. Oh, man, I love, yeah. I've done probably eight or nine at Roebuck this year. Well, yeah, 2016. Year, 16, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love those areas.